Hi everybody and welcome to Starla and Torsten's YouTube channel at Freedom 55 Adventure. Today we are going up to Boquete to do some filming for you. We've had a lot of requests from people wanting to know more about Boquete. So here it is. So Boquete is nestled in the highlands of western Panama in the fertile province of the Chiriqui province. Uh, it's home to just over 23,000 people and it's a retirement haven for expats looking for a simpler lifestyle. These little critters are called Cody's and they're up at Boquete and when you reach the information center you pull in there and you can visit them. They're there pretty much every day. With the elevations at 2,600 to 4,000 feet, uh, the Boquete region has a cool climate and it draws Panamanians and expats. With 20% of the population being expats, and the daytime temperatures are generally in the 70s or 80s Fahrenheit, with nights typically at 60 at Fahrenheit. In Celsius, that means it's 21 Celsius to 26 during the day, and typically above 15 Celsius in the evenings. The spring-like weather makes Boquete an ideal place for its active outdoorsy population. And the dry season lasts from mid-December to mid-April, and the rainy season lasts from mid-April to mid-December. As you can see, there, it's a busy little town, and it's very, very walkable. So, Boquete's location is about an hour's drive from the nearest beach, the Chiriqui, the Gulf of Chiriqui. There are several beach areas along this stretch of the Pacific coastline, and it's easy just to grab your swimsuit, pack up your cooler, and head out for a day in the sun. The mountains, beaches, national parks, the Chiriqui region really has it all. And that includes acres and acres of fertile farmland known as Panama's breadbasket. And this province grows some 80% of the country's produce. With so much to offer, it's easy to see why Boquete has a well-established active expat population. Boquete's first inhabitants came from other areas of Panama, as well as countries such as Switzerland, Sweden, Germany, and North America. Today you'll find friends from Canada, the UK, Europe, Scandinavia, and Russia. The expanse of mountain views and spring lake climate, abundant fresh fish, produce, and everything else you could want for a healthy lifestyle you can find in Boquete. It even has a variety of social events and activities and this town may be just where you need to retire or move to, relocate like we did. So the main village is small yet it's well served by grocery stores, a variety of restaurants, pharmacies, banks, bakeries, hardware stores, clothing stores, library and a gym. Nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts will find this region has everything to offer. One can find Tai Chi, yoga and meditation offered in the newly developed Central Park. Or you can find classes in Pilates, Zumba and balance training. There are numerous trails and national parks and the cloud forest is rich in wildlife. You can spot countless colorful birds, massive old growth trees, and pristine waterfalls. If it's music, art, and culture that you're looking for, guys, this little town certainly has it all. Uh, in recent years, Boquete has become a cultural hub of Western Panama, so retirees looking to get creative, you guys can roll in many drawing and painting classes, you can join photography club, you can check out the frequent art exhibits at the Boquete Public Library. So it's definitely not some little hole in the wall that doesn't have any cultural activities. And you can also relax with some golf at the luxurious Valley Escondido Resort or the Lacero Country Club. And for some personal pampering, you can choose from several world-class full spots spa services so they offer therapeutic massages fitness programs and beauty treatments so here's a beautiful aerial view of Boquete as you can see it's not very big got the beautiful Caldera River running through it
So during the summer months, which is December through April, festivals include the Flower and Coffee Fair. And we went to that, and I'll show you an aerial view in here. And also the Bocchetti Jazz and Blues Festival that brings in performers from all over the world. And this year it's from March 17th to the 19th. And the music festival is a lively event that usually sells out. Also, when you go up to Boquete, you can tour the coffee plantations, take a ride on horseback, go water rafting, rock climbing, zip lining, hiking. So there's a, ver a variety of trails from very easy to the very challenging Baru Volcano Trail. This highland town has become a focal point for foodies and alternative health affectionados. Numerous small businesses offer delicious delicacies such as European style breads, handmade chocolates, locally sourced honeys, organically produced smoked sausages, and more. There's even a microbrewery in town. Bocchetti has long been a popular destination for nationals and foreigners. So there are plenty of places to stay and eat, from quaint hostels, boutique hotels, Airbnbs, and it has plenty of local and international cuisine. Here is the market. That is where you can go every Tuesday and you can buy local handicrafts and products and that is the other market that is set up every day during the week in Bukete. Tuesday markets are very, very popular with expats. So you can go up there and get a bottle of Amway cleaner to essential oils to hand, locally handmade handbags and hats. Thanks guys for watching, so please like and subscribe. Have yourself a great day.